how to add subtitles in Final Cut Pro so you end up with a video that looks like this. Hi guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add subtitles on Final Cut Pro using two different methods. The first way is gonna be fully within the Final Cut software itself, and the second way is gonna automatically transcribe and generate the subtitles for you, which is gonna save you a hell of a lot of time. So without any further ado, let's get into the first method. So as you can see, I am now inside the Final Cut Pro editor and I've already dragged a clip into my timeline. And before we start adding captions to this video, we need to make sure that we've assigned the correct caption roles. So we're just gonna make sure that we're adding the correct style of subtitles. To do this, just go up to modify in the top toolbar, select edit roles and select captions. At the moment, we can only see ITT captions, which are captions for the iTunes store. So I recommend selecting add caption role and select CEA 608, which is just a standard format used in broadcast and video production. You can also choose which language you want your subtitles to be from the drop-down menu, and you can actually add multiple if you want. But as standard, it's already added English for me, so I'm just gonna hit apply. So now we are ready to start adding some captions to the timeline. Place your playhead where you want your first captions to appear, go up to edit, captions, and add captions and your first caption box will appear above your video. Now go down to that and select the drop-down menu on the text box and choose your CEA 608 that we just set up. And now you can start typing in the text for your first subtitle. So I'm just gonna type in my first line here like so. And as you can see, the subtitles have started to appear on screen. If you open up the inspector window on the right-hand side, you can change your font, your text, and the background color of your subtitles as well. You can also go back down to the video timeline and click and drag the ends of your caption box to change when they appear and disappear. And when you're ready to add your second text box with the same style, font, and effects, all you need to do is go down to the timeline, hold down Alt, and drag out a new text box like so, and you just need to type in what you want your next caption to say. When you've gone through your whole video and added in all of your subtitles, it's time to export it with those subtitles burnt in. All you need to do is go up to share in the top right, select your preferred export preset, then in this next menu, select roles, captions, and choose your captions to be burnt into the video. Now press okay, then press next, choose your destination and export. So as you can see, depending on how long your video is or how much talking is in it, Adding subtitles on Final Cut Pro can be a pretty time-consuming process. But luckily, I have a solution. I'm now gonna show you another method that listens to all of the audio in your video and automatically transcribes subtitles for you. And you can choose either to burn those subtitles into your video, or you can download a subtitles file to import back into Final Cut, including all of the timings. So, let's get into it. Open up your internet browser and head over to veed.io or you can just click on the link down in the description. On the Veed homepage, select Upload Video. Now, if you don't already have an account on Veed, you can create one for free, but full disclosure, this feature that we're about to use is part of the paid plan. So when you're inside the Creator dashboard, just select Create Video, then Create Project. Now select Upload a File. Choose a video from your computer, hit Open, and once it's uploaded, you'll see your video sitting inside the Veed editor. Now head over to Subtitles over on the left-hand side and we want to choose the auto subtitling tool. Select which language is spoken in the video from the drop down menu and then hit start. Now this next part may take a few minutes depending on how long your video is or the strength of your internet connection. But when it's done, you'll see that your audio has been transcribed into text boxes over on the left hand side. And if the software has picked up any errors, which can happen, you can now go through each of the text boxes manually and make any corrections. You can also go down to the timeline and change the timings of your text boxes just like we did on Final Cut. So all you need to do is go down there and click and drag the ends of the clips like so. And using the options at the top, you can translate your subtitles into any language. And in the next tab, you can also change the style of your text. And here you can choose from fonts, colors, and styles. Now, when you're finished, you have two different options for exporting. You can choose to burn in your captions to the video or you can export a subtitles file to import back into Final Cut. To export a subtitles file, go to the Options tab in the Subtitles menu, go to Download Subtitles, select your preferred format, and hit Download. Now go back over to Final Cut, select File, Import, Captions, select your subtitles file, and you'll see that your subtitles with timings are now sitting in your timeline. Or to export your video from Veed with embedded subtitles, go to Export in the top right of the editor, 
Make sure the burn subtitles option is turned on and then select export. Once it's rendered, you can review your video one more time in this window. And if you're happy, just select download and download MP4. So that is two different ways to add subtitles in Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.